Joining the army at 17 like his father did before him, Wolf Yen was feeling optimistic and excited for the adventure ahead. You have no time to be frightened, you know. You are so busy and everybody trusts his comrades, he will do the correct things. Uh, and I always trusted I would survive. And, well, I, I, I was right. Fighting in North Africa for the Africa Corps on tanks against Britain's desert rats in 1941, he made many comrades and still remembers his first shot as a gunner. I jumped out and ran over uh, just to check. And then suddenly we had uh, artillery and shells all around us. And, and so I had to seek cover and I uh, uh, fell down. And I looked directly in the eyes of a dead soldier in a very small, maybe a distance of one meter. He was in my age, and he was one of these uh, tank crew I had shot. So in that moment, I really thought this, his mother is now crying, maybe he's her only son, and it's my, and I'm guilty. After being discharged, he went into officer training and soon joined the Tiger Battalion. And from 1944, he defended Germany against the Russians and Americans. We were hoping that the war would end it soon, that really we get the order, give up, surrender. Um, um, Major Czech told me tonight we have to attack and you will be drive, uh, attack first, in line. So I said, went to my crew and said, OK, tonight we attack and we are top. We are on top. Then they said, no, sir, we don't want to, to die now anymore. The war is lost and we, don't, we want to survive. So I went back to the major and said, my people don't want to. But our major said, here, take the bottle of cognac and ask him once more if they finish the bottle. And so we, we finished the bottle, five of us, of cognac. They said, OK, let's, let's go first on top. It doesn't matter whether we die or not. And then we attacked, and of course we were shot. Right before the war ended, he became a prisoner of war in Russia. Yeah, we were surrounded, so thousands of men, at night. We were checked, of course, and they took us our, our, uh, our watches. But I had a little compass, uh, that was from a former pilot, a little compass, and I had hidden it under my tongue. So when they checked me, they couldn't find the thing. That helped me later, on the, when we escaped. Heading home after the war at the age of 21, he remembers seeing his mother's face as she realises that one of her sons has returned. She didn't recognize me because I was small and thin and brown. Later on she told me, I said, oh, another soldier is coming home. Hopefully my two sons are also coming home soon. She didn't recognize me. I said, hello, Mrs. Jane. She said, oh. so that was really far. Yain, now a qualified doctor, went on to become a dentist and met his wife at Dentistry College in Germany. Now 92, they've been together 60 years and live in Gettingen in Germany with their three sons. Amy Matthews, Forces News.